The news shocked me. How was I drinking milk before? And who was that doctor? How did he know without doing any tests or asking any questions? Was he even a real doctor? I got milk. Don't you know that I'm lactose intolerant? I can't have any milk. It makes me sick to the stomach. <laughs> it makes me sick. No, no. 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 I'm here with Jack Straver, and Jack Straver is part of a production company called Corner Pocket Productions. Jack, how are you? Good. Good. Jack, tell me a little bit about um, the movie that you that you all produced, it's called Sinuous Bodies? Yes, it's a student film that we did up at Towson University this mm -hmm. fall. Okay. Runs about 20 minutes, and uh, I was the producer on that. And the producer, the, the job of a producer, what does that entail? For a student um, production, it uh, entails a lot, because you don't have a lot of help. No. Um, no. Basically, it was doing a lot of the, uh, the business end of stuff, getting things organized, um, communication's important, mm -hmm. getting, uh, everyone set to uh, to know what their job functions are um, uh, helping the, the director uh, get his vision going stuff like that okay and this piece was directed by Alex Hedstrom Correct. and David Godbout what was his his uh, function in the, the film? well Alex was the writer and director mm -hmm. and the way it typically works up at uh, for student productions if you're the writer you typically get to direct your piece mm -hmm. and Alex came into this with uh, he, he spent the whole summer writing this and actually had one of the uh, uh, film uh, professors uh, look at look at it and also the uh, screenplay uh, person up at Towson University mm -hmm. looked it over as well so he came in with a uh, prepared script and at that point when you're coming in like that it's it's hard to not accept that uh, to go with that that uh, project or to do. He did an awesome job with yes, this project. Yes, he did. He really, really did. All, all of you guys did an awesome job. Where, where is the project now? Um, where is the project at now at this point? Like, We're late in post-production. Mm -hmm. There's some minor music that we'd like to uh, adjust. We, we screened it once for uh, this semester, mm -hmm. uh, this fall, mm -hmm. uh, a few weeks ago. But uh, we do want to make some more changes to the music. Some of the feedback we got at the initial screening, uh, we're, we're looking at that and making adjustments. What kind of, I, I, can't, I can't understand what, what kind of feedback. Just negative feedback? No, I wouldn't say it's negative. Uh, I don't think any it's feedback constructive is. Criticism. Yeah, constructive okay. criticism. Constructive criticism. It's all, all right. positive. Because I, I, I need to say, and this is for the viewing audience, if you, if you get a chance to see this film, it is, it is well thought out. The, 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 everything was so organized about this, this, this particular piece that you all did. And it's very short, but it gives a lot of information. You can tell that a lot of time was, was spent on it. And all of you guys, it was, it was a huge labor of love. So I, I think that there's always room for improvement, but I think it's really good the way it is right now. Um, when you all, um, when, you are, when you're finished everything uh, in, in regards to this movie, what do you plan on doing with it? Currently right now, we've we're sending it out to uh, various film festivals. Mm -hmm. We've only done one right now because our semester just wrapped up about a week ago. Okay. But uh, we, we did an early deadline for the uh, uh, Cunniff uh, Film Festival. It's the Columbia University National Undergraduate Film Festival. Mm -hmm. And their uh, festival is in the second week of April. Okay. So we've only done that, but we're looking at uh, uh, various other ones that we're going to submit to. Okay. And your next film project, what is that going to be? Well, currently, right now, I'm also still working on a, a different uh, film, Cheerleaders vs. Zombies, and it was set in Baltimore. Okay. So I don't really have anything planned beyond that. Uh, I have another semester of school, so whatever is involved in that. But uh, currently, I'm still trying to get this other project uh, And you finished. have but your degree. What degree do you have right now? I have an AA in uh, Video Multimedia okay. at uh, Howard Community College. And you're working on your my film degree your at film degree Towson. Towson. Yes, okay. and all. Towson has an awesome film to, um, film program. And so, if someone wanted to see Sinuous Bodies, 
or they wanted to get in touch with um, Corner Pocket Productions, what would they need to do? They could uh, email me at uh, my email address. Okay. And, and for those of you that are actors and actresses, I suggest that you strongly go to www.briandragonconnects.com and sign up to get um, casting information because that's how most of these these projects. I mean, that's how you found most of yes. your yes. most of your thanks, your, Brian. <laughs> most of your your actors and actresses and models and everything. But anyway, it's 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 good to see you, Jack, and it was wonderful working with you yeah. on the film. Welcome. And I hope to I hope you all uh, much continued success. Thank you. Appreciate it. You're welcome. Remember this. Every time I look at it, I think of you. Maybe now you'll think of me. What's this, huh? It's just my method. It's just my method. It's just my method. I want that knife. This next videographer that uh, is going to show his work is very, very, very interesting in that he's, for one, he's not even from the Maryland area. He's actually a native of India. And he is showing, he's showing two commercials that he's done. And they were actually entered into competitions where I do believe that they were successful in, in, in winning awards. Uh, one is an actual commercial for Snickers, and the other is a commercial for Coca-Cola. So I want you to take a look at these two videos and tell me what you think. Well, I'm a Foley artist, so that means I'm in charge of all the sound effects. Now, sound is very important to videos. The wrong sound effect at the wrong time could be disastrous. So I'm working on a Coca-Cola ad today, and I really don't know how to speak it, so I did take some lessons. So how would you say, how are you? So after that crash course, I think I'm ready to record this thing. Clink, clink. Clink, clink. Snickers, Snickers, Snickers. Chocolate, peanuts, caramel, and nougat. Snickers, Snickers, Snickers. Chocolate, peanuts, caramel, and nougat. Covered in chocolate with the drizzle lines on the top. I can feel the nuts and that's when my mouth drops. I take a bite into nougat and caramel. Got more of that than I do hair gel. When I'm hungry, I unwrap my fave. Cause I can't wait for delivery or the microwave. Chocolate, peanuts, caramel, and nougat. I appreciate each and every one of you for watching Style Tour, the Filmmaker's Edition. I hope that you all continue to support area artists, filmmakers, directors, anyone that has anything creative to do in, 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 this, in this life. It is so important that each and every one of you do your part to help support the film initiative to bring films to Baltimore and the Mid-Atlantic region. It is so important. We have a lot of people that are rolling up their sleeves and doing their jobs. I can name name many. You've got Pat Moran. You've got Rosemary Levy, the local from the local 47. You've got the Maryland Film Commission. So so many people, and even with that amount of people, we still need you. So I need you all to go to gopetitions.com. There's a link that's going to be attached to the show, and make a difference. Until next time.